Spaß war. In the beginning, Death sought the Crowfather, but what he found was something more. A secret once forgotten. A path to another world. What's up, Imagination Ninja here, and welcome back to Darksiders 2. In the last episode, we went to the Vale and fought an iron, or iron, a frost giant. And then we fought War himself, which did actually wasn't War, was the Crowfather, and now we're here. In this episode, we're doing something. Let's find out, shall we? Did I get that chest? Yes, I did. Oh, yeah. So this move right here that I'm doing, this little flipping thing, I'm going to be doing this throughout the whole playthrough. This is literally the quickest way to get around. Kind of like the charging thing in Darksiders 1. Thank God in Darksiders 3, I think they actually added a sprint. So that made it go by a little bit quicker. Ooh. Try stone. We're going to be spending quite a bit of time here. Hello? We don't have to talk to you, so... We're not gonna. At least not yet. We have to go talk to this lovely lady up here first. But even before that, we gotta go claim one of the strongest weapons in the game. That you get for beating the game once. Oh, I got a lot of things. Take all. I'm just gonna get rid of all that. Absolution. Absalom never spoke of where he acquired his axe, Absolution, but there is no doubt that it is no common tool of war. Absolution channels the righteous fury of its wielder and a powerful blast that slowed enemies and knock nearby foes away. So, we're gonna go equip that. Now we're much stronger. That's actually the final boss's weapon, though. We'll get to that later. For now, we have a conversation. Maker's beard. The rumors are true. A horseman in the Forge Lands. The name's Alia, and that's my brother Valis. We are the keepers of this forge. Though I reckon that means less now than once it did. This is a Maker's Forge? Nay. The Maker's Forge is lost to us, silenced by the hands of corruption. But in its depths, we once crafted the dark towers of hell and the cities of heaven. Now you make trinkets. And you, one of the four, now seek the aid of the Makers? I guess we've all fallen from high places. I came here seeking the tree, and your elder speaks of fire. What is it? Aye, the fire of the mountain, the Stone Father's blood. It once flowed into our forge, as did the tears. Both imbued our craft with incredible power, the heart and the soul of stone. But corruption has taken them, and now our forge is silent. Why does this concern me? The way to the tree is lost, barred by corruption. You can no more leave this place than we. Restore our forge, and the tree can be reached. I don't follow your reasoning. We are makers. Not warriors, but we are not without our weapons. Before the forge was lost, we crafted a mighty creature of soul and stone, a colossus to fight this corruption. But to awaken him requires a maker's key, and we need our forge to craft one. Will you help us? What is this cauldron? A temple built in the shadow of Stone Father's Peak. There, the fire of the mountain was harnessed and passed into our forge. Ride east of town, ride through the charred pass, and towards the cindery peak of the Stone Father. There, you will find the cauldron. Man of no words, your brother. <laughs> but hardly silent. His voice is the ring of the hammer and the roar of the white flame. Yes, he works while you talk. I may have need of a blade. Is your need greater than ours, horseman? I think not. We fight for the survival of our realm and our kin. Prove worthy, and mayhaps we can do business. What a bitch! No, I'm just playing. Anyways, 
Now that we wasted some time there, let's make our way down to the charred pass and meet Pup, aka Karn, whatever you want to call him. He will be our first companion to accompany us on our journey. strike against corruption is a blow against my own people. Muse on that, Ryder, before you mark me as a coward. Do what you must for your kin, old one. For mine, I ride to the cauldron. Horseman, you'll find not that way, but trouble. Well, if you fancy your corruption waist deep, that's as good a place as any. You know, there's a reason this gate is here. And if you were a friend, I wouldn't have let you pass. But then... To his friend to death. Have you wisdom to share, or was it long since knocked loose in battle? Oh, wisdom ain't like teeth. I've plenty left. Enough to stay clear of the colder. The ancients filled it with right nasty traps. But one so clever as yourself will surely elude them. Just let me in, Thane. Do, 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 do. All right. So we have to get the hell over there quickly. We gotta do something this episode. Excuse me. There's the corruption that she was talking about. Don't look at me. Bitch. And here we are. Now, I'm not going to be stopping for any collectibles or anything, because that would just take up way too much time. And I've learned from God of War that... <laughs> it gets annoying. Not just to, to you all, but to me too. Oh, okay. So we're going to be doing Strictly Story. That way we'll get this shit done as quickly as possible. Maybe I'll come back and do the side quests. No, I won't. Let's be honest here. If God of War has taught us anything, I will not. But I can do story. That is the one thing that I can do. <laughs> so how are you guys doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I, uh... I've gotten out of the deep pit of depression that I was in. Or at least, kind of. Uh, depression never really goes away, which kind of sucks. Or at least it never goes away completely. Or the scars never do. Scars can fade, but... They're still always there. But let's not make this depressing, okay? <laughs> That's not what my channel's about. It's about having fun. Yeah, I know my single player videos aren't all like hyped up as my videos with uh, Chip and Hayden are, but it's still something. I never actually really expected to be a bit of a solo channel. All right, I had another annoying interruption. God, don't you just hate people? <sighs> All right, 
Anyways, let's continue with the journey. Jesus, it's taken a while. I might actually cut out every time that I've been on the horse. Oh, well, hello there. Or every time that I get on the horse to go on a ride. Corruption fared long ago. I can still feel the fire itself rumbling deep in the air. I'll take my chances. More different than the others. Less pleasant on the eyes, for one. <laughs> I could say no less for you. Folks around town call me Pop or Lad, but I prefer my own name. Carl. Pop it is, then. As you will. Matters not to me. Why not restore the fire yourself? I came here just for that purpose. Figured I'd pop the cork, so to speak. Be the hero. But the cauldron is locked up well and tight. And the way through is swallowed by fire. You look capable enough. Perhaps you can find a way. I'll wait here and guard the entrance. Okay. As you notice, there was a blue thing there. Those are side quests. We're not going to be handling any of those. Now, let's go into our first little dungeon here. Because there are dungeons in, in this game. That's where all the puzzles are. And that is what we need to restore. Let's uh, speed this up a bit. Got that. All right, time for a little fight. Oh, that door over there needs a key. Kind of like the doors from Darksiders 1. So we gotta go find said key. And where is the key? Somewhere. Those are coins that we give the Volgrim. We're probably not gonna be seeing Volgrim though. Because he's not part of the story and doesn't do like fast travel points like the last game did. I forgot. Death can't double jump. Meanwhile, war can double jump. And he also can't glide, so... When it comes to that, we're shit out of luck. But he is good at parkour. That's where he has war beaten. And now that door is open. Oh. 
camera angle in this game when it comes to combat can get pretty awkward. But it doesn't do it often, so... We don't have anything to worry about with that. And there's where the skeleton key is. Oh, never mind. That's the dungeon map. Skeleton key is in this room. With this big guy. I think this guy is a stalker? I think that's what they're called. I don't think this guy is a prowler. Well, no, until I get the lock onto the guy. Soccer, yeah. There we go. Another one? Come on, man. Just let me get the skeleton key. Thank you. It is right in here. And there's actually an animation for getting the key. I ain't gonna be reading that. I'm not gonna read absolutely everything. This is better than any armor we have? No, it is not. Come on. And here is this. A puzzle. Not really, because it's just kind of roll this over here, okay? There you go. And boop. That's it. Then we go over here, which then leads us up here. just need to progress. Progression is somewhere around here. I don't think I can drop down here. No, I can. I gotta be cautious that there isn't any pits down there. And now to open this door so we don't have to go all the way around. Push that lever in. There we go. And we need another skeleton key. Gorgeous. I believe it is in here. So this ball, this is a puzzle right here to get the skeleton key. You have to roll it all the way over here. Because then it'll unlock this so you can get the other ball. But there's also a, a book or a page here. Come on. There we go. And this, you want to roll all the way over here. So you could save time for the other one. Because that will lower the gate a little bit. And then you grab this. And you throw it at the ball. 
And don't let it roll back in. Trust me. That's happened to the best of us. And roll it over here. And there you go. Puzzle completed. And there is our skeleton key. But, that is all the time that we have left in this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and hit the red button, because apparently YouTube's rules is that you can't say subscribe anymore from what I've heard. Anyways, stay tuned to the next video as always. Have a good one, folks. Bye.